Ha <laughs> paper, yeah. It's our time, one love. Uh, it's Paperboy Prince, Paperboy Love Prince here on the Paperboy Prince podcast. And it's a super special episode um, because we normally rarely have guests at this point. And I'm happy to have our guest host here, Minnie Scarlet. So thank you for joining us. How's it going? Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to guest host. Yeah. You're not You don't do this often? Not, wow. not really. Yeah, no, not, not really. And um, I don't know. I think this is episode like thirty something of the podcast, so it's still fresh. And I usually have a lot to say and get off my chest. So, uh, but yeah, thank you for joining well, us. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. It's been really, really, really hot. So, um been trying to just stay cool stay sane hydrated fighting the rats it's like kind of a thing so yes definitely you know new york city new york city is just still it's still amazing so amazing yeah. like new york city for sure um yeah. how are you how are i'm you? i'm doing great i'm doing great happy to be here i um, super excited we've been doing a bunch of fun and creative stuff futuristic stuff so yeah i'm what doing kind, good what kinds of stuff um you can't just say stuff like that and then be <laughs> like yeah but then, then, then. well <laughs> i mean we've done a bunch of uh dope collabs that we've talked about some on the podcast and um there's great music that we just dropped that I know we're gonna talk about and um yes this election <laughs> I pay for yeah this election really been connecting with a bunch of people um here around the city so like um yeah 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 that the election that's like so much stuff <laughs> I know it's a lot so so that and you know just so how are you feeling about it I'm I'm feeling great, you know. My my favorite part is honestly getting to meet people, getting to work with people. Um we've been primarily focused on, you know, mutual aid, you know, giving back, doing lots of food distributions, community cleanups, uh just actual events, community events that are getting folks together. Uh, designed to like connect with the people you know um so that's all very positive stuff are there like any like issues that you're kind of facing with like politicians um because i know there's that side of it all too you know what i mean well definitely definitely there's that i want to talk about that too i do want to say that you know um I'm super excited. Oh, if folks want to help and volunteer, if you want to volunteer, uh, hit me up on social media at Paperboy the Prince on Instagram, Paperboy Prince on Twitter, and go to paperboyprince.com. As far as, um, you know, with the politics, <sighs> you know, that's a good question. I think it's something that has a lot of negative energy around it sometimes because folks have one, there's just been this history of folks being ripped off by politicians, folks being taken advantage of by leaders <clears throat> even before this country existed, but definitely now in this country and then this city has had a, such a history of corruption with the politicians. Um, and then, you know, when we talk about Congress, which I'm currently running for Congress, in uh, New York 7th Congressional District, and uh, which is North Brooklyn and Southwestern Queens. And we ran there in 2020 uh, and we took $20 and got over 20% of the vote, which is pretty much unheard of, it was the most votes per dollar. That time last year, you know, we ran for mayor, got over 67,000 votes in the first ever ranked choice voting election in New York City's history, which was super special. 
Yeah, um, I do remember that. Like, yes, <laughs> yes. It was a big. Yes, some people remember it, and that and that <laughs> that that actually kind of brings me to the one of our biggest issues that we face is you know how to get folks to care because yeah. the the main issue is so few people currently show up to even vote yeah um and it's people like lost faith in you know a lot of things so i feel like it like how are you getting people to vote and like how are you exactly and the thing is right it's like bigger than voting because i don't want to be another person just telling people to get out and vote because voting isn't the only solution to the problems that we're having in our society it's a very important one it's one of the main ones it's something that's coming up right now that i'm definitely encouraging folks to do but like that's why our plan is how do we have consistent engagement that like is like feels conversational that is like actually connecting with the people that are being left out of this conversation because yeah. the issue is the people that are put in power aren't in communication with the people who have a need of the services, who have a need of the government, who um, we need to be working with to make this a better society. You know, we talked about, I ran for mayor. My plan was called the Utopia Plan. And right now, running for Congress, it's the same thing. It's the Utopia Plan. It's how do we make people have the best life possible? You know, how do we make them have the most amazing existence possible for themselves for their family for their friends for their community neighborhood for their people if we're not doing that we're always gonna miss the mark and you see that you talked about the rats right mm -hmm. and it's like sounds funny but that's super important because you're talking about quality of life yeah when you when i, I say you talk <laughs> that highly affects the quality of life how we deal with the trash how you see that on the streets mm -hmm. and it's everywhere where you go now i'm talking about things that are like city issues um and there are not necessarily federal issues but that's part of the problem right? right and that's part of the problem when you talk about engagement of people them understanding who does what what uh representative part of the problem is most folks don't even know what a congressional re representative does so they aren't properly educated then how to vote what to look for you know how to actually use these people because these people aren't our kings and queens this is these aren't their districts that tell us what to do we're actually they work for us right. you know when i'm elected i work for you um it's not the other way around and because folks are uneducated on the process because they're not involved consistently they're not able to get the most out of their representatives and the rep representatives aren't even able to you know get their job done so that's kind of this i like to say this 6d chess issue that is like really big picture long-term thing um and that you know we're using creative methods to solve every day is there a reason that you switched um i mean you ran for mayor and then is there a reason that you didn't want to like do something more like like why congress you know what i mean yeah so i ran for congress in 2020 and and that was one of the initial reasons that i even got into electoral politics after you know being a activist and community organizer and artist the reason for that was you know we need people that could bring this country together with love most of the folks that you see that are uh, running for some type of office or are in a lot of government positions or even that are doing things like podcasting and stuff like that their goal is to divide you know they're using they're they're trying to be divisive because they know the power in division but for me i know the power in love and connection and unity and my goal is to bring us together you know people are want to go far left far right they want to go left right they want to be centrist pull people different way my goal is to take us up you know take us upward not left not right but upward and you know actually ascend the consciousness you know raise the level of consciousness of people 
to have us thinking at a higher level, living on a just more loving level, you know, because right now we've seen it before. It's like, we're not connecting as humans. And so I, I felt like that was the first step with the, there with Congress and creating policies under that, that really address those issues in a uh, really human way. And then uh, running for mayor was great because it, we got to really focus on city issues and now running for Congress we can continue to make up that push. And another thing I'll say is if I wasn't running, you know, my opponent would be unopposed, right? right? And so uh, the people deserve some type of representation and some type of actual fierce representation and challenge. And a lot of these representatives are going unopposed in New York City. So that was another reason it was like, hey, if it's not me, then who, you know, they, oftentimes pay people off or, um, you know, create a type of political climate purposefully. And there's a lot of ways you can go into that, how they do that to make sure that other folks don't run. So it's harder for them to run. They're discouraged mm -hmm. to run. The newspapers talk about them bad, that folks try to sabotage them, that they hire people that are sent to take them. To so there's all of these type of tactics that they use and luckily, I am a actual someone who's just so from this community and yeah. from the neighborhood and area and really supported and a, a self-starter in a way that we've been able to bypass all of that. And I'm so thankful to everybody for the support. So, ha, <laughs> paper, yeah. So, like, talking about policies and stuff like that, like, what do you what kinds of things would you change? Because I feel like like moving with love and all these things are like kind of like vague ideas sometimes, you know what I mean? How, you know what I mean? Would you unify people? Like, what do you see as kind of like <clears throat> an issue? Like obviously one disconnection from like the actual population that you're supposed to be representing or whatever, or other people, not you, but. Yeah, no, definitely. I think that that's important. Um, because a lot of folks do see love as a vague issue. And that's one of the reasons that it hasn't been brought up. Um, and for me, it's one of the most important things because the reason that folks are working hard for themselves, for their family, for their communities is because they love themselves, because they love their family, they love their kids, you know? Um, so that's why it's so important. That's the, at the root of everything. And as far as specific policies, you know, one of the main things was creating love centers, places where folks can come to actually connect with each other that are real alternatives and pretty much a free way for people to be able to have fun, meet people, learn new things, do new things, you know? Where is it that you can go in society? We have parks, which are great, mm -hmm. but where is it where you can go in our societies that we're actually fostering relationships to bring people together? Right. Teaching folks how to interact. And when I say teaching, I mean giving them the opportunity to do that, yeah. you know? And um, doing that with a way of love, you know? Um, we were able to separate people. We literally put policies in place during the pandemic to do, you know, separation. Where we told folks, hey, stay six feet, right? Yeah. Social distancing. Um, those were controversial in some places, but the point was we were able to make those mandates. Why can't we make mandates about love, about bringing people together, about, uh, hey, we're gonna afford you a place in your community to actually end bullying so kids don't have to go through that. To actually allow seniors to be able to connect and make more friends and make uh, more connections as they age, right? Um, 
so many things, you know? Yeah. So uh, that's, that's one of the main ones. And I've talked about that a lot on this podcast and other places, but that's, that's one of the main ones. And then when you get into other things, we start talking about things that I consider like the basics, but um, healthcare for all, you know, true healthcare for everyone. Uh, and I call that, uh, you know, paper boy care. Um, ha <laughs> paper. Yeah. But seriously, healthcare yeah. for all that is so important. Yeah. And when I say healthcare, I mean, your entire health of your, your body, your mental health, your dental health, obviously your physical health. Uh, we're also talking about housing for all, yeah. you know, and I, I, I've, I talked about using creative methods to get these policies out there. Yeah. So we have songs about this. I got the song, everybody needs a house, 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 favorite boy in a house, 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 you know, and it's a fun bumping house. song. Yeah. It's favorite a good boy house. In house. Yeah. So that's, that's coming soon too. But, you know, the idea is we have enough homes we have enough building materials. We are in advancing enough society. We got to get this, some of this stuff out of the way or it's just making all of us in this time look bad, right? Housing for all. Um, right, like there's so many empty apartments and stuff and then there's people who don't, I don't know. It, but, you know? but exactly. So, in a so, lot of big cities. Right, so we have to really tackle this stuff in uh, right now. Um, you know... So that I mentioned basic income, I think bouncing back from the pandemic, I think there's a lot of ways that we can do, but this is a more important time than ever to, you know, hey, if it doesn't work, folks have criticism of, of it. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Right. But I think it's important to try some of these things and a universal basic income for as many people as possible as we can put into a program like that, uh, I think would be great. And, you know, that's one of the things that we're, we're also fighting for and have been. Um, so yeah, uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of issues that we're, we're happy to talk about that kind of, you know, in my mind, are focused on love. Okay. I definitely think that it's like issues that people have been needing to talk about and have it's like been brewing so i feel like just when you say love you know what i mean people don't really always know so definitely it's to clarify on that it's great to clarify that um and moving forward do you have any like tech projects going on like yeah yes um yes and and to the love thing you know for me i want to have that conversation more you know, I want people to be challenged about that because now since we've been talking about love uh, and, and after our mayor campaign and so many people responded to that message, we've seen a lot of folks across the country try to adopt that in different ways. A bunch of people in the city trying to mimic it when it um, is politically advantageous. And so folks actually poking at that and say, yo, what are you doing? How are you representing that? Are you showing that every day? You know, um, is important. So, but as far as tech projects, we are have been working on a bunch of um, ways to basically use the blockchain to help fund some of our mutual aid projects. And, you know, we've uh, been partnering a bunch of folks around that. Um, I recently did a collab with uh, AI music company where we basically are have a doing a fun event where we're going out into the community and having people mm -hmm. teaching them to make songs. What is a AI AI company that you like? What like what exactly? Yeah, so are you doing with them? Yeah, so um at these events. Yeah, so <laughs> AI, well so basically AI is artificial intelligence and you know, I think it's important to find ways to introduce and to educate and so folks can 
be involved and as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, but AI is artificial intelligence. And so, yeah, I have some AI music uh, coming and basically we created this event where we're gonna be going around the city and teaching folks to create music, you know, because right there on the spot and then also be able to upload it online if they'd like to. Um, so it's playable for all their friends. And so for me, you know, we wanna do more, you asked about spreading love, we wanna do more community projects and partnering with uh, different groups and brands when we can to be able to further that uh, message. So those are some of the cool things that we're working on and uh, a bunch more coming that some that I can't talk about, some that are already out. You know, we just did one with Meta. That's a cool uh, kind of, you know, uh, like ad slash vibe and, and, and got to have some conversations there. Um, but this is a cool event that we're doing. And then, you know, it's also a music component uh, to that question. Yes. So the AI is doing all the writing and everything. What exactly do you give the AI or does it just ev like evaluate your work and then? That's actually a great question. So basically you give it what it, you want. You know, you talk about, you say what type of, choose what type of song that you want to make. You can get more detailed into that or you can just say, oh, I want to make a kind of meditation type song and you choose that and then it populates that. And if you want to say some words over it, you can do, do you can say whatever you'd like. So we'll be showing folks how to do that live. Um, yeah, yeah. I feel like there's endless possibilities with this. Endless something possibilities. Like that. <laughs> All right, so new music. Yes. AI music. Yes, that's actually a perfect segue. Yes, mm -hmm. I have a 171 song album um, called 171 ways to have fun 171 ways to have fun and it's about having fun um you know it's a little silly and wacky and also fun and creative and inspiring and um you know it was just a challenge to myself and also to everyone out there to create more and when i say create it doesn't mean everyone has to be an artist but it's just creating moments even in your life that you're proud of you're excited about whether that's you know days that are great days on your job or whether that's moments with your friends and family you know continue to create and enjoy life because um that's a big part of what it's about so that and then i have my other album that just dropped called shrek's family reunion which has nine songs and it is it's okay. I think it's great. It's great. Yes, yes. You were at the, uh, the album release, album release yes. party. Yes. And you were also a guest host there. And, phew, yo, that, the Shrek's Family Reunion album is really fun. And it's New York inspired. It's very Brooklyn, New York inspired. And, you know, um, yeah, it's a, it's just a really dancing album. So uh, that that's exciting we're doing a bunch of events around that on the bus we're taking our bus the love tank and going around still using that to distribute stuff to the community but also having fun and, and you know are you performances. gonna make music videos yes a lot of music videos coming soon for both the albums for all of the albums yes for both of those we still got more music dropping soon too uh we have some political albums dropping and some other some more kind of just like rap albums dropping r&b albums um yes to music videos i was also going to talk to you about being some so i'm gonna be in an r&b video okay we can <laughs> we can definitely talk about that and figure that out and um yeah i want you in some of these silly videos too yeah absolutely yeah okay perfect, perfect. so how much like of the ai did you get like did you give it before and then you recorded it or you gave them recordings and things that you were like and then it gave back completely finished both so i did a bunch of them that were a bunch that were um you know i rapped myself over the ai that i chose the type of selection of music right. and then a bunch that we took 
um, we took kind of samples of my voice, fed that to the um, artificial intelligence and, you know, let that chop it up. Sounds fancy when I say it like that. And uh, <laughs> let that... <laughs> AI just sounds already so fancy. Like, like, yeah, and then I gave it to the AI. Like, yeah, her but, name. <laughs> but it's cool because it's really not even that, um, you know, intimidating. And, and we kind of, that's part of what we're trying to do is is put the technology in the hands of the people because that's where it matters most so and a lot of the elite have had some of this stuff for a while and and we're just getting access to it so um so yeah we're trying to bring it to everybody love that yes <laughs> yes um so food distribution are you still doing that yes we are yes we've been going steady have been giving out food uh to the community consistently for uh close to three years now um and now uh, close to two years at one location here at the paperboy prince love gallery which is our community space and mutual aid uh, hub and so much more so yeah that's been going uh we've been serving hundreds of families every week and yeah. are striving to serve more you know there have been some programs that have cut back um, that we were a part of that has made it challenging to continue. But that's where it's so beautiful for all the support we have in our community. Because for example, we have the love tank for when, uh, okay, one thing stops, we're able to take the love tank and go pick up food. Um, you know, we have a community fridge where we've been able to give up food. Uh, the the love tank? Is our large bus, that okay. large pink bus, formerly large blue bus. I didn't know that that was its name. Yeah, that's okay. the name, gotcha, yes, gotcha, the gotcha, love gotcha. tank. Okay. And it's been going around the city, helping to give out food to all uh, different communities here, Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan, mainly in Brooklyn and Queens. Um, but our food network, our food NYC, mm -hmm. we've been able to help not only give out food consistently week after week and day after day mm -hmm. and I think the last time I was at the Love Gallery, like someone came and like dropped out food in the fridge or something like that. So. Yeah, yeah, that happens super <laughs> often at our fridge. We do a lot of distributions through that. We have our own uh, food distributions that are set up where, you know, weekly we are able to give out food to as many people as possible for free. Usually it's hundreds of people and um yeah and then we have our food group our food nyc which is a food distribution network where basically we've helped to start other mm -hmm. food distribution so because okay. some folks are inspired but hey they can't come to all of the things that we do right. at our time so bigger than them doing it with us is hey you do it in your community and showing folks how to do that and help helping mentor them through the process uh, has been really helping us to expand our work and multiply it by a lot. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people want to help and they don't know how. You know what I mean? Exactly. So. Exactly. So that's that's a big part. It's like educating yeah. and inspiring. That goes a long way. I would agree so. Ha, <laughs> 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 paper, yeah. But as always, very impressed. Thank you for letting me guest host. <laughs> yes yes um thanks for joining and yeah oh we also have new merch out i wanted to say oh yeah yeah a dope some dope new merch so if you go to paperboyprints.shop you can check that out um some... i have a beanie oh but yeah oh that's, that's right you have a Paperboy Prince beanie. is that the new that's not new that was the winter stuff but that we probably maybe somebody watching this winter we might have some new winter stuff but i have a bunch of dope new summer merch uh, clothes at the Love Gallery also, but online at paperwayprints.shop. I got to get you a t-shirt too. Um, but yeah. I would wear it. Okay. But you have to wear one of mine too. Okay. I got you. I got you. Yes. <laughs> speaking of, let them know where they can find you and contact you and all of that. You can find me on at Mini Scarlet, M-I-N-N-I-E-S-C-A-R-L-E-T. That's pretty much across all platforms. 
can Google it. I have a link tree with all the, you know, all the good things. <laughs> <laughs> paper yeah shout out to mini scarlet thank you so shout much for doing this one. yes thank and you. and being so gracious and um you know yeah i appreciate that i mean you're giving food out to the community you know <laughs> what i mean so <laughs> well thank you thank you also for everything <laughs> one love